Hi guys, I'm Raunak. All Elite Wrestling has emerged as credible pro wrestling promotion. AEW even does some things better than WWE. Since its inception in 2019, All Elite Wrestling has been compared to WWE. This is natural as WWE has been the single biggest wrestling promotion in the world. The newly formed promotion got off a fantastic start, becoming the first promotion to sell over 10,000 seats in an arena outside of WWE since WCW went out of business. However, the timing soon became a massive issue for AEW as the COVID-19 stopped the ability to run live shows with crowds in attendance. Now just slowly coming back and AEW got its rhythm back. So in this video, I'll mention why AEW is better than WWE. So let's get started without any delay. While not all wrestlers are better off with creative freedoms, some wrestlers work much better when not restricted creatively. In recent years, wrestlers like Alistair Black, John Moxie and Matt Hardy have spoken out about their frustrations dealing with WWE on a creative level. Thankfully, all elite wrestling seems more inclined to give its wrestlers the creative freedom to build their own storylines. For a long time, large wrestling promotions didn't work with each other. WWE would largely work against any competitive market, frequently counterbooking any promotion that got too big. When AEW was first launched, WWE tried to do the same thing, placing NXT on the same night as AEW's flagship show Dynamite. Meanwhile, AEW hasn't only shown an interest in working with other promotions, but has regularly traded wrestlers back and forth with promotions like Impact Wrestling and New Japan Pro Wrestling. While AEW hasn't been around for that long, fans have still found plenty to complain about. Fans were particularly critical of Nightmare Collective Stable and Miro's early booking. Thankfully, AEW listened to their fans and would quickly disband the Nightmare Collective. Tony Khan would also ask fans to be patient with Miro, claiming that he came to AEW as damaged goods. A common criticism of WWE is their reliance on legends and part-time wrestlers to fill in main event spots. The return of Goldberg and John Cena have once again highlighted WWE's use of wrestlers from previous generations. WWE is often criticized for appearing to be more concerned with positioning stars of the past as abstractions rather than their full-time talent who are on TV each week. On the other hand, AEW has used a variety of legends in building up their younger wrestlers. Legends like Sting, Arn Anderson, Jake Roberts have undoubtedly helped younger like Darby Allen, Lance Archer, and MJF. One of the WWE's biggest issues in recent years is the fact that their tag team division feels like an afterthought. WWE has released or broken up tag teams like The Revival, The Heavy Machinery, The Bollywood Boys, and The Author of Pens in the last few years. AEW has a tag team racing as one of their focal points, led by the Young Buck. AEW has also brought in former WWE tag teams like FTR and former Bullet Club members in Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. Yes, right now, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson are back in WWE company. Now they are the part of the WWE company. AEW has also raised the profile of the acclaimed and private party. So guys, these are the top 5 reasons that I shared with you regarding AEW. So do you like WWE or AEW? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, then leave a like, hit the subscribe button and press the notification bell. And share this video with your friends and relatives. I'll be back with a new interesting video. Check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye.